questioning herself. Oh, Allah, she's so afraid to be. Assalamualaikum, everybody. So I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time, and um, it's basically about the reasons why I decided to become Muslim. Uh, sorry if my voice is a little bit raspy. If you have been watching my other videos, it's because I I'm first just heard about cold. Islam on 9/11. Like I'm sure a lot of people heard about Islam on 9-11. Um, I grew up in Jamaica, so Islam wasn't really a big part of my childhood at all. I was never exposed to any Muslims or anything like that growing up. Um, um, all the media that we got, and usually, all the media that we got was probably Western influenced media and was just portraying Muslims as terrorists and bad people and telling us that like I remember having the perception of Muslims that they worshiped the black box in the desert and that they were all wicked people and like a whole bunch of stuff and in Jamaica like growing up I just thought okay cool I'm gonna stay away from those people I don't know I don't know what they believe in but um but they're definitely not people to be friends with or people to um, hang around or mingle with. So um, that was the perception Five. that I had about Muslims. 2005, before. I came to Canada and I actually had my first experience with a Muslim person, which is actually kind of funny now thinking about it. Um, because what happened was I actually, the day that I got off the plane in Toronto, I saw a Muslim lady standing at the airport and I guess she was waiting for a family member or something to get off the plane and I remember my heart rate just speeding up and I was so scared and I just thought this lady what is she doing in the airport why isn't the security guard arresting her she's gonna bomb the place I didn't understand like I was confused and I was shocked and I was just terrified I was like I need like I did not feel safe around her you know and she wasn't doing anything she was just waiting for her family or whatever and I went to my aunt and I was like why isn't she being arrested what's going on like pure anger like I couldn't understand you know and my aunt just told me she was like I don't know what kind of people you think they are but they're not all like that so I remember thinking wow how could I have been so close-minded about a whole group of people just based on like um like what happened in 9-11 so I remember wanting to learn more about the people I guess um yeah, the people more than the religion. I didn't I didn't really think that the religion had anything to do with it. I just thought that the people like Muslims were like interesting people because I hadn't I didn't know anything about them. So I um when I first started high school in Ottawa, it took me maybe about two years to get comfortable. <laughs> like comfortable yeah, so my with best friends that were Muslim and I think my first Muslim friend was the one who um taught me the most about Islam because she cleared up a lot of misconceptions that I had so anyway when I started becoming friends with her and she started just bringing me to her house and showing me like her family and stuff and like what they do I was like wow these people are surprisingly normal and I don't know what you guys believe but Christianity is the right thing and you guys need to convert to Christianity because you guys are going to hell either way So that's what I thought about Muslim people So I began talking to her about Christianity and telling her about Jesus and how he came and to save us and how he died for us on the cross and all that stuff And she was telling us she was like well we believe in Jesus too and I was like what? What do you mean you believe in Jesus too? You believe in Jesus too? Okay, half the battle is won, you know? Come on, let's go. And she was like, no, 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 but listen to what we believe in. So I listened to her, and what she saw, what she told me about Jesus sounded very, very like the same about what we believed in um, as a Christian. And so I that's when I really, really got interested. And I was like, wow, I have to learn more about this religion, you know? Because it's so close to Christianity and you guys are so close to being saved and you just need to make that extra step. So I was actually very convinced and very adamant in Muslim people becoming Christian um, at first. And so that's how I really got introduced to the religion because I was actually trying to learn more about Islam so that I could counter it with arguments from Christianity in order to get people who are Christian to become, I mean, people who are Muslim, sorry, to become Christian. So, um, yeah, um, that resulted in me having more dialogue with more Muslim people and there and just opening my mind, I guess, to what Muslim people believe in, what Islam was really about. And then I started thinking, wow, this really makes sense. And there are some questions that I always had growing up, some questions that I, um, just like just little doubts and just holes, I guess, in my faith that that weren't filled that Christianity was just not fulfilling for me and um, usually we're taught to just kind of overlook that and just have a general kind of 
um, overlapping faith and not to question too much because like questioning can lead to your you actually doubting altogether and that's what ended up happening to me because I questioned so much Christianity when I started reading more and more about Islam I started questioning Christianity so much that I started realizing wow this really doesn't make any sense at all so the thing about the main difference about Islam and between Islam and Christianity is that Islam has an answer for everything there is nothing in Islam that anybody will tell you okay just believe there's an answer for everything and that really really helped my inquisitive so, mind in 2000 and um, maybe seven or eight I started like I really became convinced that this was the religion that I wanted to be a part of and this really started to make sense to me and but I didn't want any of the responsibility to um, in in being a Muslim I didn't want responsibility of people asking me about it because I didn't know that much about it I didn't want like I just didn't want to call that down on myself yet I guess I wasn't ready for that so even though I was convinced that Islam was the right thing I was just putting it off it was my bargaining phase it was my um okay I'm gonna be Muslim but not yet or I'm gonna wear hijab but not yet or I'm gonna I'm gonna be Muslim but I'm not really gonna pray or just it was it was a uh, turbulent time so in that time I fasted during Ramadan I started covering up gradually slowly weaning myself into it um definitely talking about it telling everyone I knew this is a sick religion you guys have to like check this out um definitely promoting it but just not really practicing it in myself um then I started I just became really interested in black history and I guess that's kind of fitting because it's black history month in which I took my shahada but um I became really interested in the slave trade and just what happened to America specifically like and Americans that came from Africa during the slave trade and I just started realizing that Christianity had so much a part to do with this and that 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 black people had been so indoctrinated I guess by the Christian faith that I couldn't be a part of it anymore I could not call myself a Christian knowing what Christians had done to black people so I guess that was a motivating factor in me wanting to be like become Muslim because Muslim is what the slaves were before they were Christian so I figured that the only way to truly go back to my roots was to become Muslim um, of course there are many other like factors that I really can't get into just for the sake of time but that was one of the big ones that I can in remember Islam, that there is only now. one God and that you can worship that God without an intercessor I don't know if that's the right word but you don't have to pray to anyone to ask God to help you like you can just ask God so I really like that um, February of 2010 I went to it was early February no maybe like mid February I went to a party in uh, 2010 and what ended up happening is somebody brought a gun to the party and it just turned into a very dangerous situation and then I can just remember being in the midst of all that chaos and going wow if I am to die right now I'm not even going to be Muslim and that was a really scary scary thing for me so I just decided that that Friday coming up I was going to take my Shahada and that Friday was February 25th so it's been what is it four days since the anniversary of the day I took my Shahada but Alhamdulillah I'm very happy now and never once have I regretted it or said okay what if this isn't right or anything like that because I researched it and I did a lot of my I put a lot into it before I made the decision um what else did I want to talk about okay the hijab I I'm probably gonna do another video just because that's kind of a separate or a longer story on its own but I didn't intend to actually wear a hijab the first when I took my shahada I just intended to become Muslim and that's it <laughs> and um, but I was wearing a sh uh, hijab in the mosque on that day and the girl who I was with she just told me that your your faith and your courage is never gonna be as strong as it is right now when you're making this decision so you might as well just try to ride this wave of emotion so that you can I just experience it you know for one day so just wear the hijab try it out for one day and if you don't like it you don't have to wear it you know and I was like okay it can't hurt so then I tried it and I loved it and I never wanted to take it off again yeah. after that my advice so. for non-muslims my advice for non-muslims would be to please ask a muslim if you have a question there is nobody more willing or more happy to answer your question than a muslim person nobody can tell you about islam unless they're muslim like in my opinion if you want to know something just go directly to the source you know and you will get most of the time <laughs> accurate um, information and my advice for Muslims is that nowadays we're being kind of singled out in the media and although it can look like a bad thing I think it's a I think it's a great opportunity for us to give dawah I mean 
Islam is so pure and it's so beautiful and there's really nothing to hide so you know bring it on I think that the media giving us more attention is only going to show the world how like how good of a people and how good of a religion this really is so I think that the advice that I have to Muslims is just to keep you know keep striving in your deen keep doing you and you know inshallah everything everything is gonna turn out okay because I've noticed I've been looking at just some statistics about the amount of people that converted after 9-11 and it's really amazing what bad bad media can do for you because you get a lot of questions when there's um when there's uh, media attention so yeah that's just the story a little bit of the story about why I came to Islam there are obviously like a little like a lot more layers and a lot more um, details but that's the abridged version so thanks for watching and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments or um, send me a message on uh, send me a message and I'll answer them as to the best of my ability or direct you to somebody that I know that can answer them okay. how many words she's read before she's consumed two thousand books or more musty pulp and glue soundproof her tiny room she cannot understand why this book in her hand fascinates her now so much she's almost shy to talk